Climate change is one of the greatest challenges being faced by this generation. It's not just about having hotter summers, climate directly affects a vast array of systems in our world. From allergies to sea transport, food security to forest management, soil erosion, pests, and civil disasters, all are strongly influenced by the changing climate. One of the best tools for monitoring, analysis, and decision-making is the wealth of Earth observation data collected by satellites, ground-based monitoring stations and citizen observatories. These data cannot only help us to better understand the changes that are occurring, but also how to best combat and adapt to climate change. Unfortunately these data are not always easy to access, or to understand. In Europe, there are many different data sources which are separate and siloed. Users searching for particular data have to search these multiple sources using different platforms which are generally for domain experts only. For me the challenge is to really prove that um, you can really boost the uptake of the, the vast amount of data that we have. We have satellite data from Copernicus of course, we have in-situ data, various uh, uh, sorts of data, we have citizen observatory data and so on. And all this needs to be more fairly accessible and more exploitable I would say. In June 2022, a new European project kicked off, funded by the European Commission's Horizon Europe programme. The various organisations involved met in Athens for two intensive days to prepare the work ahead. I guess there are many users, you know, the, the spectrum of applications on this particular data is vast, it's uh, huge. Uh, but uh, people do not know the, the capabilities offer, what the uh, uh, data capture from satellites, for example, can uh, actually offer. And they, what they don't currently have are the tools or the proper annotation that would assist in this direction. So uh, this is the gap that we are trying to, to fill in. EO4EU's goal is to increase uptake of this data through making the various sources more accessible. The aggregation of uh, data from different repositories, which is something that does not exist. We are talking about uh, Copernicus data, we are talking about uh, Destiny data, Inspire, uh, Galileo, etc. And all these things, uh, either of you, you have to uh, register to several platforms to get uh, access to the data, but uh, what we envisage in EO4EU you know, is we have a single uh, uh, point of entry to all these uh, repositories and single uh, and uh, simplified way to retrieve and process data. We have many repositories, but this means a lot, uh, a big volume of data. We are addressing the, the way to uh, retrieve data from all these repositories, but in an intelligent way so that we don't uh, 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 retrieve uh, massive uh, uh, data and we start uh, uh, moving around the data without uh, purpose. We are making, we try to minimize the, the data that we retrieve and that specialized to, to the uh, end users and uh, use cases. in order to um, use this data that are big data, no? so complex data, heavy data, you need also um, supercomputing facilities, some, in some cases, or cloud resources uh, to manage them. EO4EU will not only bring together data from the different existing sources, but it will also have access to the Destination Earth Digital Twins. EO4EU is very close with the Destiny a, a flagship of a, uh, European uh, Commission. Uh, the main uh, purpose of uh, DESTINY is to uh, create the two digital twins, extreme weather and uh, climate change. Both are contributing a lot to a uh, green uh, deal of the uh, European uh, Union. And the particular actually help a lot for in case of crisis, especially in case of uh, uh, extreme events, weather events, where we can uh, have an early warning about uh, something happening and then the stakeholders can uh, uh, take uh, action and uh, help uh, people in case of fire, in case of flooding, etc. And also climate uh, change, uh, uh, disagreement, which is actually one of the uh, key uh, uh, components of uh, uh, studying the climate change of our planet. AU4U is about uh, utilizing this uh, kind of data, being also uh, uh, end users, simple users, not domain experts, closer to uh, this service and make them available uh, for them.
EO4U is going to have early access to data coming from the two digital twins. Access to all these data will bring very practical benefits for numerous application sectors, for example analyzing the fastest sea route for a ship to take, or providing simulation of different policies for land management. With our platform, a user can try to interact, to see, to adopt a sort of what-if analysis in order to understand what will happen if some management of territory will change. Not only will Earth observation data be more accessible in terms of access to data, but visualization technologies will be used to help non-experts analyze the data and use it to make their lives and jobs easier. I would say that uh, at least I would be tempted to see how these AR, more exotic things that we intend to develop here would be used. Uh, so I would imagine, you know, people going out in a certain uh, in a field for some professional uh, requirements, etc., and having their Googles uh, fed with data provided by the platform itself in a very elegant way and realizing that, okay, these are the data fed by the satellite, these have been abstracted properly and so on to me, so I understand everything about, for example, the status of the soil or the crop or things like that. So that, that is a, a very interesting scenario, and I'm, I'm confident that we will manage to pursue this all the way. The EO4EU platform will be an accessible portal to this valuable information for all types of users. This is going to be a platform where um, end users will be able to log in. Any kind of end user, uh, this is the aim of the project, to be able to uh, provide Earth observation uh, information uh, through different data resources, um, data pools if you like, uh, to any kind of end user from policy maker to maybe just, uh, just a simple citizen that they can go in the platform, they can log in and they can have, let's say, different kind of information about food, about the water, about the grass, about the soil, any type, any relevant information that has to do with the Earth. Follow our progress by signing up to the EO4EU newsletter. Stay up to date with the project for platform early access opportunities.